Hi, my name is Siviana Sebastian. In this video, I'm going to do woodwind technique micro teaching. The instrument that I choose for this micro teaching is a recorder. This is how a recorder looks like. You might have seen this before because you have been playing this um, when you're in elementary school. Okay, the recorder is a family of woodwind musical instrument in the group known as internal dark flutes. Flutes with a whistle mouthpiece. This is mouthpiece also known as Fibler flutes. A recorder has thumb holes. You can find the thumb holes from the bottom here. You put your thumb, your left thumb on the thumb hole. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven holes. Okay, how you put it? Um, put your three left fingers, one, two, three, like this. And then you put your four right fingers, one, two, three four like this this is how you hold the recorder and then there's two design for recorder which have baroque and german okay this is how the difference the baroque and german recorder looks like okay so the recorder that i have in my hand right now is a baroque recorder this part i'm going to talk about type of recorder Maybe some of us don't know that recorder have many kind or many types in this world. So in this part, I'm going to talk about five types of recorder, which is sopranino, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. So firstly, I'm going to talk about sopranino. Sopranino is the smallest and highest of the five main types of recorder. A sopranino recorder is 7.87 inches long. It has range of F5 until F6. So next is Sopranino. The most common of all the recorder family around 11.81 inches long. It has range from C5 until C7. So this is example of the Soprano recorder. Okay. And next is Alto. Larger and lower than the Soprano. But higher than the tenor around 17.71 inches. This gives in a functional range of F4 until F6. So next, tenor. The next one is the lower from the auto recorder. The tenor recorder length is around 25.6 inches. It has range from C4 until C6. Again, lastly is bass. The lower of the five types of recorder around 35 inches long. The, the range for this instrument is F3 until F5. Next is about comparison of wood and plastic recorder. Recorder can be made by wood or plastic material. So I'm going to talk about the pros for this material first. Wood have a better sound quality, smoother tone and stay in tune. So plastic have an affordable price, durable and sounds louder. For the cons for this wood, have a higher cost, it may be cost around 100 ringgit or maybe 1000 ringgit. And then plastic have a poor tone quality overall and thinner sound. If you want to buy a plastic recorder, I suggest you to buy from um, Yamaha brand. So like YRS, this one, YRS 20GB or 20BB. They are made of the same ABS resin material as our regular leg holders and offer the same surprise tuning, the same bit of the tone and the same grade dual PT. It has a rich and full sounds. Alright, this section is about the recorder body parts. So this is the back or we call it a mouthpiece and this is a window. As you can see there's a whole one here. And then this is a rabium. This is a rabium. Okay. And then this is a head joint, you which is you can twist it and open like this. It's a head joint. Okay. And this one is a hole, tone hole. Okay. And this part is called middle joint. So you can twist it open like this. Middle joint. Okay. And this is a foot joint. The last one is a foot joint. This is recorder maintenance section. So firstly, you have to swipe up your recorder every time you finish playing. 
So if you play way too much, your recorder will become watery, which is from your warm breath when you blow the instrument and maybe have a little saliva in it. Okay, so to swipe out your recorder, take your recorder stick, this one, okay, and a, a cloth, put it like this, okay, and then take off your joint, oh sorry, take off your all of the joint, remove it, okay, I take the head first, wipe out all of the water in it, and then the foot joint, and the middle joint the middle, middle joint you cannot force it into the middle because it's very tight so just wipe which the level you can and then if you own a plastic recorder you can clean it with water like mine here I have a plastic recorder I can put and wash it in using water okay number third keep the recorder dry so that to avoid the mold become appear okay and number fourth keep the recorder stored safely and avoid extreme in temperature and direct sunlight if you have a wooden instrument or maybe from your plastic also you need to take care just like the wooden instrument and lastly if you have a recorder comes with several pieces you may need to grease it so how to grease it I have a Recorder cream, this one, recorder cream, okay, recorder cream. Before we start to grease it, we have to remove all the old grease, remove it, okay, and then take just using a little um, cream from this, using your finger, and apply it to the joint, right. And this one also. Okay, after that, we um, join it and twist. Okay, and foot join also. Twist. And done. How to maintain your recorder? Oh, before that, uh, we, if you don't play your recorder you can put it in your bag okay and put your stick here and also your recorder cream and done so this is the last section is how to play recorder first I'm going to talk about posture so recorder um, when you play recorder, it's also like you are playing um, brass instrument and woodwind instrument, which is you have to sit straight and make sure your body is in, in relaxed position. Okay, and then your elbow position, don't make it like this. Okay, when you hold, it's, you cannot do like this or you make it like this. Make sure you make your elbow look steady like this. Okay, so that you can easy to move it is okay and then how to put your um, your finger to the recorder I as already mentioned just on the first topic just now so I'm going to um, I'll talk again so put your thumb your left thumb to the bottom here thumb hole right and three fingers from your left one two three okay and then four finger for your right hand one two three four okay this is how you hold your recorder and your elbow make sure you you look like this okay don't do like this like this after that is breathing breathing is very important to every blowing instrument like woodwind and brass so breathing for this recorder you have to make sure the air is in your belly not at your chest if the air is in your chest that means you will have a hard time to control your breath during your blow this instrument okay for recorder instrument no need to use too much air when you try to blow this instrument what I mean is 
and when you force your breath when you try to blow the instrument like it will sound like this it's ones it will sound like inconsistent tone and it will be sounds like a broken maybe like a um like a cracking sounds okay make sure you blow steadily like not okay okay like this it will sounds like this steadily breath There's a common mistake that people always do when they're beginner playing this instrument, which is um, take a breath after new note, take a breath after new note, like this. Okay, that's how it sounds like. So when they play like that, they will feel easily um, tired or exhausted. So how to correct way to play the recorder is use tonguing. So tonguing you sounds like this. Um, first do this do 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 do. Okay? You will, I will play with the recorder. Okay? That's how the correct way to um, to blow the recorder which is using your tongue. Lastly is Please avoid leaky fingers. What I mean is leaking fingers is that your fingers, when they press the hole, they are leaking air, which means it will make sounds like this. That means that is leaky fingers. Okay, it's not because of the your recorder, which that means because your fingers is not pressing the hole properly. So make sure your finger. Press the hole correctly. Okay, that's how you avoid leaky fingers. So, in conclusion, I hope to those who watch this video understand about my explanation about this instrument, which is a recorder. A recorder is a very nice instrument because it has a very nice tone and affordable to buy. Okay, instrument is not very hard to learn and not very easy to learn because you need to have a good breathing techniques memorize the uh, fingerings and also need to know the techniques the correct techniques okay it's to make it sounds more interesting so thank you to those who watch this video i hope you learned something and thanks again